That's why I'm saving all my love for you Hey everyone, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, thanks for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if not, welcome back to my channel. So me and my YouTube sis slash boo decided to do a collab video using the My Old Makeup eyeshadow pigments. And we wanted to do something that was bomb and something that was colorful. So this is the look that I came up with. I did use a little bit of glitter in the um, video. You can't really see it, but this is what it looks like. Y'all see this glow? <laughs> um, yeah, so when y'all are done watching my video, make sure y'all like go to her channel and check out her video. Also check out all her other videos as well because she is bomb and she's always slaying. So yeah, um, also subscribe to her channel. Everything I use will be listed down in my description box and I'll also link her video in my description box as well. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey my loves, welcome back for another slang tutorial. So the first palette I'm going to be using is the Saharan palette from Juvia's Place and I'm taking this rose gold shade called Zoya and I'm going to be using it as my brow bone highlight. Now I'm just going into the Zulu palette and I'm using this yellow as my transition. I'll be taking this orange from the same palette. I'm going to be placing it right below that transition shade that I just put down. And I'm going to be placing this red shade from the Saharan palette called Sokoto in my outer V just to further warm it up my eye. And now going back into the Zulu palette, I'm taking that plum shade and I'm putting it in my crease. And now I'm taking my Ambrosia Cosmetics IFX base and I'm using that to create my cut crease. And now this part usually takes me forever to do. So this part I usually have to like speed it up and cut out some parts. Just because, you know, it takes me forever. But you know, you want your cut crease to be like really like nice, crisp and precise. So please, please, please do not rush to create your cut crease because you want it to be popping. And please make sure it's dry before y'all put y'all's color down. Because if y'all don't make sure it's dry that eyeshadow would in that base will be acting a fool so just make sure it's dry before you go in with your shades your shade. so now i'm going into my maya makeup pigment stack and i'm taking this neon yellow and i'm going to be placing it all over my lid i'm just going to leave a small portion of my lid open on the outer b for another shade and y'all just going to see me pack on and pack on that color because i really wanted to like be like out there and be bold and vibrant And now I'm taking this orange neon, this neon orange from that same stack, and I'm gonna be placing it in the op in that area that I left open. And now I'm just going back in with that plum shade and making sure that everything is blended seamlessly. And now I'm taking my next glitter primer and this glitter from Super Glitters called Golden Sun Yellow, and I'm gonna be putting that all over the yellow shade that I had put down. And now I'm taking this other glitter from Super Glitter and it's an orange one called Tropical Sunset and I'm just placing that all over that orange shade. So I went ahead and did my base off camera. I went ahead and put on my lashes and I did my my liner. The concealer that I'm using is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the color D35 Neutral and I'm just highlighting under my eyes. And then I'll be highlighting down my nose, the middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin. And I'm just using my Real Technique sponge to blend that out. And 
And now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Mahogany and I'm using that to contour my cheeks and around my forehead. I usually don't say what type of brushes I'm using. If you guys want to know like what brushes I'm using, like please let me know in my comment section and I will be more than likely to put that in my video. And now to set my um, highlighted areas, I'm just using my Sasha, Sasha Buttercup powder. And now I'm taking my sleek contour kit in the color dark and I'm using that to set my contoured areas. And now I'll be setting the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Translucent Powder in the color dark. And now I'm taking this shimmery lime green shade from the Zulu palette and I'm just going to be popping it in my inner tear duct area. And because I'm being real extra with this eye look, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo pencil in the color of milk and I'm going to be placing it in my water um, my waterline and I'm going to be taking this... Um, this, lime, this neon green shade from that same My Own Makeup pigment stack and I'm going to be using that on my waterline as well just so my eyes can be like you know just really bold and out there. And I'm going in with this plum shade as well and I'm going to be smudging it on my um, lower lash line. I wasn't really too sure about this, um, this color but I just went with it. And now for my, um, my mascara, my bottom, for my top mascara or my top lashes, I'm going to be using the, um, the Benefit their real mascara and then for the bottom ones I'll be using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara as well and now I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses powder in the color Cogna and I'm using that to contour my nose And I'm taking this sleek um, blush trio in the color sugar and I'm using that plum shade on the apples of my cheek. I'll be setting my face with my NYX Dewy Setting Spray and I will be using the Anastasia That Glow Highlighter Kit and I'm mixing Drip It In Gold and Bubbly and I will be using that on my cheekbones, down my nose, the tip of my nose, the middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin. Now onto my lips, I'll be using Nika K lip line in the color coffee, and I'll be using this MZ, this MZ, this is me glit, um, lip gloss in the color Vanessa, and I'm gonna be placing it all over my lips. Y'all, I really have a problem. I really <laughs> cannot talk for the life of me. I cannot talk. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this um, video. I really hope you guys like this look. Please do not forget to check out Amory's video. I will link it down in the description box. And also do not forget to subscribe to her channel. Until then, I will see you guys in my next one.